What's up, boys? It's Trev Cat. I was on a camping trip this weekend, and we stopped to have lunch and pulled out a loaf of bread. And the guy I'm with opens the loaf of bread, reaches all the way to the middle, and grabs the two nicest slices right out of the middle of the loaf. He did it right in front of my face, so I had no choice but to respect it, but can't decide if this is a trash or a power move. Let me know. Love the pod. You got bread cut. It's both. Chief. It's both a trash and a power move. This is like when you your friend wants a bite of like your burger or something like that, and you oblige, and then he takes the like middle bite, the best bite of the burger. Are you just sharing Wait, burgers with your buddies? Yeah. Or, How do you take I, a middle bite of a burger? Well, like what? if you already had, it's like already half eaten or something. Oh, okay. I, th- I thought you meant like. Can I take a bite out can, of the center of? A let me say something. <laughs> Is there anything less shareable than a burger? No. What are you, Randy? What are <laughs> that, you talking that, about? That was just the, that was just the first thing that popped in my head. But don't, like, don't share you know, your burger. You know, like Randy the middle part of like a piece of food that's like the best part, like a toaster strudel. I don't know if you're sharing if, those. If you, were, if you were to take a bite of your friend's burger, they're going to like cut you off a little piece or something like that. You don't pick up a burger that someone's already had their mouth on it and go and go at it. You're a crazy man. So I'm closer <laughs> with my friends. What the hell? Who's that cartoon character that is like always eating hamburgers? The Hamburglar? Not the Hamburglar. Oh, it's like I, Sweet Pea or not Sweet Pea. Uh, I can see him. I don't know his name. Like or he's what, just what always thinking he's, hamburgers. Yeah. Is that Randy? Like <laughs> Homer Simpson? Like you look inside. Like just, the thought bubble is just a hamburger. His brain just on burgers all the time. When you share your burger with a friend, what do you? What? <laughs> You're a freak. <laughs> Well, uh, what was it? Yeah, this is a unbelievable move. It's a power move, but it's also like, dude, what are you? What the fuck are you doing? So everybody does this, right? You have like the the you know the first piece, the, the side, heel, the heel. You keep the heel and like you take it out, take some the two you want, and you put the heel back in, right? Sure. For molding yeah. purposes, so it takes like. Does that brunt. actually do anything? I think so. Okay. I we, think it takes the brunt of the oxygen. So we used to wrong, keep them know. for French toast. So, like, after we have a bunch of little heel pieces, like, make French toast out of those parts. And then you share it with your homies? Yeah. You take you shit, yeah. <laughs> you all just eat off the same piece? Dude, like a big, juicy burger. I'm not letting, <laughs> I'm not letting Randy, the tea man, take a bite of that burger. So, I think I, going back to the question, I think I missed part of it. So, he takes, like, six or seven slices out no, then takes grabbed, two and then he puts just reaches back in. to the he middle to the middle and he took the, he and, just and plucks his two favorites out so we're saying the the loaf of bread is already out presented or is he like reaching his hand in the bag over and grabbing it, it sure sounds like Good he question. reached into the know. bag but i don't know either way How, are, the, you, are, you the middle, always, are the middle pieces like decidedly better than the outer pieces i, I mean I think so well, once you get past the heel the they're all the same piece. right that i i could not tell you a difference now i've been eating, eating a lot of dave's whole wheat bread non-spawn and yesterday i went to make a uh, almond butter and banana and strawberry preserve sandwich mm. i had three pieces two heels and a regular so i had to use a heel to make the sandwich, and I have to in say, a, in a pinch, it's it's fine. It was fine. It was not aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, that's why I didn't put it up on the gram. But uh, Parks has um, gotten to the point where he he requests uh, that I cut off the crust. Oh, the sandwiches now. You know what you sh- should do? I've Get uh, one of those like cookie cutter things that make dinosaurs that cut them into two triangles. Ooh. And they cut off the crust for you. Trying to tell him how to raise his kid? I'm just saying that, you know, Parks is a, Parks is a big dinosaur guy and that he goes would probably, right there. He would probably fuck with a uh, a peanut butter jelly sandwich shaped like a T-Rex. I know I would. Yeah. Sounds tight. Did you notice that uh Club Cool's own Barrett Dudley yesterday had on a dinosaur T-shirt? No. I did notice that. Yeah. What was that T? Parks would like that T. Speaking of parks and dinosaurs, have you guys gone to Jurassic Wash yet? The uh, car wash dinosaur place. No, Dylan went somewhere else actually. Well, I didn't have I didn't have parks with me, David. Um, what? Oh, I'm just saying we talked to a car wash. No, right? I have not been. It looks tight. Yeah, I mean it looks okay. I'm looking for I'm in the market for a new auto detailing and washing. Do you try the one down here, BK Road. How long did you have to wait to get it detailed? I didn't. They just did it right there on the spot? It, I did a, a, it was called a mini detail. It wasn't the full, like, $200 version. But it took, it took like, uh, 20, 30 minutes. You know, I, I get my car detailed. Detailed or detailed? 
Both detailed. Work. I get my car detailed uh, maybe two or three times a year. Actually, more now that I've got Randy, because, you know, it's the Ram man. And uh, it always shocks me how expensive it is. And I, last time I was I was in the uh, awkward spot of, I didn't have cash to tip for the mm. last person. And I was like, ah, do you have Venmo? I hit my guy with a five spot. I've got cash on me now, but back then I didn't. Can I uh, admit something that might be a... Uh, you don't tip. You've we never washed your car? I don't actually know what detailing a car means. Okay. Um, okay. It's, uh, it's cleaning a car with great detail, basically. Insides. And they even will, well, they sometimes they even like pop the hood and will clean your engine. It's it depends on what you pay for, it really. But it just means they clean everything. It's like a massage parlor for your vehicle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's I, where I, Robert Kraft would take his whip. Yeah. Never just, done it. Never knew what it was. It, they just they'll, they'll clean everything, and they don't, yeah, very detailed. Very is, detailed. Which, which I think is why they called it detail. They used to call me detail because yeah. I was always tailing receivers when I was a defensive back. Like they couldn't. They them? couldn't lose me because I was. They were running routes, and I was they, trying to. They were blown by you, so you had to run after them. I mean, I, I gave them a little space. You were a liability. I put them on Crime Dog Island. <laughs> I mean, you locked down Bryce Butler. We all saw that. It's hilarious. In a to think, hall. Isn't it hilarious to think that like there are some defensive backs at big schools that are five nine, five ten. Like that's not uncommon. And Bryce Butler is. <laughs> he towers over me. The thought of like having the athletic ability, first of all, just to keep up with him. And then, like, he's just gonna he's gonna go up and Megatron it every time. Like, I'm not I'm not breaking up any of those passes, even if I have the footwork and speed yeah. to keep up with him. I'm gonna jump up and I'm I'm not gonna get it. Megatron's a receiver that comes to mind when I think of just having like Moss. physical advantage over any defensive back on the field. We should got. I wish we had a uh, gif, Randy, of uh, Bryce Butler just mossing me at the Callaway <laughs> event. <laughs> that was a funny picture. It really was. What a nice guy he was. Is yeah, he's just a team player, man. He just we asked him to do it, and he's like, "Fuck yeah, let's go." But he didn't. He didn't say fuck. Low key swaggy too. The fits he got off. Dude, he's Bryce. He is Bryce. Anything else on this question? I don't even remember what the question was. Um, oh, the bread thing. Yeah, this might be weird for me saying after the burger thing, but if you're putting your hand in the bag you're just getting your like forearm on all the other pieces yeah i don't want I, your I don't like that forearm yeah, on the like bread. i'll give my buddy a bite of my burger but forearm on the bread it, no it's no, an no, audacious trashy move that's uh also a power move unless you can spot like a noticeable piece of mold on the first one that is right there you always take the first available slice of bread in the bag i agree if you're sharing it if you're at home in the in the comforts of your own home behind closed doors i don't care what you do with your bread i got a question about bread consumption Okay. When you take the little twisty off, the f- for the first time, do you throw it away and do the, the spin and tuck method, mm. or do you put the twisty back on? I always put the twisty back on. I do not. I'm a, I'm a spin and tuck guy. Depends on the day for me, really. It's more Those of things if I, are so annoying, man. If yeah, I can't I find it, I just do the spin and tuck. If I like put it on the counter and it's taking me more than five seconds to find it, spin and tuck. I'm a spin and tuck boy. I actually just vacuum seal it. Wow. You, you go the extra mile. Every time, yeah. Does it crush the bread when you get down? Nope, just seals it. Oh. Vacuum style. Okay. I've been looking at vacuum sealers at Costco. They're like $180. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just don't need one of those in my life. Well, you're not smoking these meats. It's true. It's true. It's true. Why are you, why are you doing Dylan's lines? <laughs> I, I disagree with him. Jeez. All right. You want to do another one, Randy? Let's no. do it. <laughs> 